video we will see a question from gate 2021 and it is about the combined trapezoidal footing so it says a combined trapezoidal footing of length l supports two identical square columns p1 and p2 of size 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter as shown in the figure so these are the two columns i mean this is the trapezoidal footing the length of the footing is l and these two parallel sides these are given one is 5 meter other one is 1.5 meter and these are two columns that this footing is supporting p1 and p2 and then it says the size of the columns is 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter so these dimensions it is 0.5 by 0.5 it is a square column both of these columns then it says the columns p1 and p2 carry loads 2000 kN and 1500 kN respectively so loads on these columns are given if the stress beneath the footing is uniform the length of the combined footing l in meter round off to two decimal place is so here it is saying that the stress beneath this footing under this footing what contact pressure is coming it is uniform so corresponding to that we have to find the value of this l that is the length of the footing so in case of trapezoidal footing we use these specific footing to make this contact pressure or the stress that is beneath the footing uniform so if it is a square footing square combined footing then if the load is too high or space is limited then sometimes it happens that we do not get the uniform pressure so we have to go to trapezoidal footing for that in case of trapezoidal footing how this uniformity is obtained so we have these two loads p1 and p2 so the resultant of these two loads it will be between these two loads so the resultant is placed in such a manner that this resultant and the centroid of this trapezoid is at the same location so whatever is the centroid of this footing it is also the location for the resultant of these two loads so that is the basic condition here which can be used to solve this question and two basic formulae that you can keep in mind regarding the trapezoidal footing or for a trapezoid it is its area so area is given as if we have these two sides a and b so the area is given as a plus b upon 2 times length and the location of centroid this location of centroid it is given as 2a plus b upon a plus b times l by 3 and here this a and b are these sides a is the shorter side and b is the longer side and another thing to keep in mind that from where it tells the centroid location so this location if you are using this particular formula it tells the location of centroid from the bigger side so this b side in this formula which is the larger of the two it is telling this distance from here so in this question we do not know the area so that is not required here but because we know this condition that this centroid of the footing it is also the resultant location for these forces p1 and p2 so we can use this condition to obtain the centroid and using that we can solve this question so first let's find out the centroid for these two forces p1 and p2 so we have p1 and p2 and the distance between these two forces is given 5 meter and this p1 column it is just next to the side of the trapezoid so we know the side of the column is 0.5 meter so half of that will give this distance from the edge of the footing to the center of the column so that would be 0.25 meter so we know this distance also here that is 0.25 meter but on this side we do not know the distance so if we want to find out the resultant i mean the location of resultant the value of the resultant force will simply be p1 plus 
P2. But we want to know the location for that. So if the location of the resultant force, if it is X bar from this load P1, so we can write F times X bar is equal to P1 X1 plus P2 X2. So as we are measuring these distances from the point P1 itself, so X1 will be zero. So it will be P1 times zero plus P2 times five because it is at five meter from P1. If we had taken some another arbitrary point, let's say if the point was here and we were writing the same equation, then this would have been X1 and the distance from this point to point P2 would have been X2. But here we are writing this equation from P1 itself. Now the value of F is 2000 plus 1500, it is 3500 kilonewton. So we can obtain x as p2 times 5 so p2 is 1500 kilonewton times 5 divided by 3500 so solving this we obtain x bar as about 2.14 meter now once we know x bar that is the location of the resultant force it will be somewhere here so based on that we can calculate the centroid of the footing also. So as we know, the edge of the footing is at 0.25 meter away from this load P1. So the centroid of the footing, it will be, if we see from this larger side, so it will be given as 0 0.25 plus 2.14. And that is 2.39 meter. Now, once we know the location of the centroid of the footing, we can use this equation to obtain the length L because we already know A and B here. So 2.39 is equal to 2A plus B. A is the shorter side. So 2 times 1.5 plus B is 5 meter by A plus B. So 5 plus 1.5 times L by 3. So solving this, we obtain the value of L as 5.825 meter and the question is asking to round it off to two decimal places so we can say it is 5.83 meter so this would be the required answer for this question so here we have to keep these two formulae in mind and additionally this information that the resultant of these two forces p1 and p2 the location of that resultant and the location of centroid for the trapezoidal footing is same so that is the underlying concept here apart from that if we talk about the how this question can be modified so instead of area the soil's bearing capacity can be given and based on this bearing capacity and total load that is applied here we can find out the area and once we know the area then by using these equations we can solve them for a and b so that way we can solve this question